Hello, and welcome back to another edition of the Medique Trust plugin. My name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson, and today I wanted to uh, cover a topic that's not specific to uh, just the Trust plugin, but actually is uh, probably applicable to every one of the plugins, and that is having to do with licensing and upgrading your plugins. So to start with, uh, with licensing, um, <clears throat> I think I need to bring this to everybody's attention because I get a lot of questions on this practically once a day at least, uh, sometimes more often. But um, here we have the uh, web page for the wall plugin. So as you can see here at the top, we have this little green uh, text area, which is what I call the table of contents. And if you look here, you'll see a link called installation. So I'm gonna click on that and that will take me down the page to where it has instructions for installation. So uh, some people aren't aware, but when you, you know, when you install the plugins, um, here's exact instructions how to go ahead and do that and also how to activate your license within the uh, <clears throat> within SketchUp so first this first paragraph here steps one through eight this kind of takes you through I think it's probably a little overly detailed but for those people that need that level of detail it gives you literally step by step you know you get into the extension manager of the plugin and then you go ahead and um, get that downloaded RBZ file and open it up and then go ahead and install it. Um, anyways, um, so that is the first part of installing an extension. And here is, this is a SketchUp Make 2017, which I often use still for um, demonstration purposes and testing, but uh, all the other versions aren't really that much different in my opinion. You know, the color of the logo have changed a little bit since, you know, since 2017, but if you notice, um, I think actually with the newer versions, it's under extensions. But uh, in 2017, the extension manager is under window. And here you'll see, you know, all your extensions that you have installed. And then there's like a red at the bottom of the page. There's a red or blue button that says install extension. Go ahead, click that. And then, um, you know, navigate to where you've saved that uh, .rbz file, which is the extension downloadable file and select that and then open it up <coughs> excuse me and then it will go ahead and install the extension okay so once you've done that um, usually you're up and running but in the case that you've previously installed the trial version of the plugin and that's where it takes us back to the second paragraph here of the installation instructions if you previously installed the trial version extension then you probably have the uh, the word trial listed under your serial number. So what you want to do, and this is, like I said, it's laid out instructions one through four. You want to go here and notice there's like a little three slider bar, little icon for each one of these extensions. And that's called the global settings of the plugin. Each one of them has it under the main toolbar. Um, this is the floor plugin here that I'm working on, but we also have it for the foundation plugin. Uh, the wall plugin, the trust plugin, the project plugin, they all have a global settings. So if we click on the global settings, and I'm going to go ahead and do that. <coughs> um, I'm not going to actually click on the license tab because if I do that, it's going to show my license number, and I don't want to show that. But you'll see that the most right hand tab is the license tab. Okay, and so you just click on that and you go ahead and enter your serial number uh, for your plugin. Now be aware that every plugin has a unique serial number. So the serial number for the wall plugin is not the same serial number as it is for the trust plugin or the foundation plugin. They each have a unique serial number. So just be aware of that. And you're going to ask now, well, where do I get my serial number? Well, that, if you go to the top of the page here for any of the pages on the Medique website, you're going to see like a little login tab here. Click on that login tab. You can log in with your... Um, your username and your password and um, basically once you log in you can uh, click on the icon for the plugin and it will display your serial number for that plugin so you can access all of your serial numbers okay so that's basic information as far as installation now um, the next question is upgrading so what do I do if I want to upgrade to the latest version so the first thing you always want to do is go ahead and uninstall the current version. Um, I don't think it's wise to try to install 
um, on top of an existing version of the plugin simply because if you do that you end up sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't it's a little bit I, I don't know I, and I <clears throat> honestly haven't tested it you know that many times but I've had enough issues that I realize it's just safer a safer bet uninstall it first and then you know download the latest and greatest and then get, get that installed um, and then if you're installing into the same version of SketchUp you shouldn't have to um, put in your serial number um, it will automatically all that information is retained okay so now the next question is what about migrating from one version of SketchUp say SketchUp 2022 to SketchUp 2023 a lot of people think that you know if they've installed all the plugins um, then or extensions sorry they will uh, they'll go migrate with them to 2023 and that simply is just not the case the reason is because every SketchUp installation, every version, is a completely separate entity unto itself. So you'll notice that um, if you actually jump into the plugin folders, um, I'm going to do that right here real quick just to show you on my Windows machine. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so if I go, um, I'm actually on 2017, but if I go into SketchUp, go back a few folders here into the roaming folder, SketchUp, you'll notice that you have basically you know all these versions of sketchup folders here so this shows that i have you know 2017 2021 2022 and 2023 installed and then if i go ahead and click into each of these notice i go into plugins here this is the list of plugins i have installed on 2023 and these folders for the, these medic installations these are completely independent from any of the plugin folders found in any other year okay so I have often I get asked the question well how do I if I go ahead and you know and create some custom uh, presets wall presets or materials or anything else um, how do I migrate that from a previous version of SketchUp to you know a newer version of SketchUp okay so basically what's happened is is Prior oh, to about two or three years ago, I guess it's been now already, I used to put everything within the, the SketchUp uh, plugin folders, right? So for instance, this is SketchUp 2017. If you went into the wall, wall, uh, <coughs> excuse me, wall plugin folder, you'll see here we have presets, okay? Now, if you actually look at these uh, files, there's really, there should be nothing in them. They should be empty. Because really they're just placeholders, they're they're templates. So when you first install SketchUp and you first install these plugins, the it will actually copy these templates into a separate location, right? So I'm going to show you where that separate location is. If we go back here a little bit over to the roaming folder, um, notice we just jumped out of the SketchUp subfolder in the roaming folder on my C drive. It's underneath the app data administrator uh, under users um, <clears throat> of course that administrator may be some whatever your username you're logged in as right um, so I'm just trying to show you how to kind of how to get there but basically if you look here you'll, you'll see the one for SketchUp but if you go up a little bit you'll see there's one here called Medique so this one is specifically created when the first time you install just one of the extensions okay and then if I install the extensions into 2017 or 2023 it's going to create, it's going to dump these, <coughs> let's go into the wall plugin for instance. It's now going to dump these templates into here. And you can see that we've got the exact same files, right? Except I don't, and I don't remember if I've added, I probably have. So under the wall presets now, so I've got a, a one preset here set up right now, currently. Okay, so this preset, maybe I want that preset um, that I've created in 2017, maybe I want that preset available to me in 2023. So it's really just as simple as taking this text file, copying it, go back, jump up a little bit, go into the 2023 folder, wall plugin and presets, and then just simply copy and replacing, overwriting this wall presets, which by the way has nothing right now. Um, <clears throat> so 
that's essentially all there is to it. You can jump here into the Roaming Medic folder and you can copy all of these basically text files and custom materials and everything else from one subfolder to the next. And then that will migrate it into your installation from 2017 to 2023 or whatever, you know, installation you're migrating stuff to. And by the way, same thing applies for the um, library of materials, your custom materials. So see, so you've got them right here. You just take these, grab, you know, if you have a bunch of new ones that you have, grab them and then drop them into the other subfolder. And on Macintosh, it's very similar file structure. I don't know the exact path to it, but it's, it's like I said, it's, it's essentially the same thing. So that's how, uh, yeah, you can migrate all of these custom um, materials, uh, columns, headers, posts, wall presets, window presets, pretty much all the different customized things now are stored outside of the plugin folder and stored here in the Medic, roaming Medic folder. And therefore they're retained not only after upgrades, but also allows you to transfer between different versions of SketchUp and your different Medic installations. Anyways, um, that's pretty much it, I think. Um, I put out a little blurb of, uh, probably almost a year ago, I think now, about upgrading and renewals with permit licenses. Um, if anybody has any questions about that, I can more than welcome, um, to, you know, I'll more than happily send that to you, um, the link to that, so you can understand that better. But I think uh, that pretty much covers uh, licensing and upgrading and migrating between versions. So if you have any questions, give me a holler and um, I'll be here to answer those questions. Thank you.